Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to talk about Russia's latest innovation, a floating nuclear power plant. A rather interesting approach to supply power to the town of Pevek. So, first of all, some media call this the new, call this a floating Chernobyl or Russia's latest mistake. But they have been a bit quick on the draw on this, so. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Sorry. All right. The vessel itself. It looks like this. It's a huge barge screen. It, I think it's still being built here, but I'm not sure. I couldn't find too many sh images of it. Anyway, the vessel itself. It does not have any propulsion. It has a flat bottom, so this combined means that in shallow water it can float perfectly. If the sea gets a bit more rough, it's unstable, and there need to be it needs to be tucked and pushed all the time to move forward. This is the first of two shipments. This currently contains the structure and two reactor cores, so some assembly has to be done at arrival, which means mostly certain welding pipes uh, lay, laying out networks for the pipelines and stuff like that connecting it to a water source for example but this is basically just a structure and reactor course the second shipment is going to contain nuclear fuel uh, the crew and all other needed things but despite this not being having anything radioactive with it they are already talking about a floating Chernobyl. This first shipment is probably the safest shipment of both. So I don't know what the issue is. The second shipment is meant to be there in, meant to go next year in 2019. So I'm rather curious if I hear something about that and how it will go in the end. Uh, the town of Pevek. It's very northeastern part of Russia. It's roughly, let's see how I can circle it, it's located here, right there, and yeah, that's not easy to reach, so they went for the C option because it's the easiest way to reach it. So the town of Pevek, it's an Arctic coast village, and it has around 5200 inhabitants, it's dependent on its port because over land you cannot reach it. But for example, it's so far to the east, it's more eastern than North Korea. Think about it. It's nearly next to Alaska. That's how far east it is. And it's dependent on this port. So, uh, how do people survive there? What kind of living do they make? Well, it's mostly mining industry. It has been lessened down lately though. They used to be mining for uranium, gold, copper, tin. Although that became very unprofitable, it, at its peak there were 100,000 people living there, but these days only 5200 like I said before, which is a bit less and shows that the amount of people are getting slowly less because there is no money to make. You can't make a viable living there and if the port is closed down due to ice or a storm then shipments can't come in and you have no supplies at all. Uh, the power system. Currently it's running on coal and hydrothermal power. Both hydrothermal power is pretty clean, coal is far from clean and Within a few years there's going to be a nuclear power plant there. So why the nuclear power plant? Well the coal system is 60 years old I believe and the hydrothermal power is just as old if not a bit older. So yes that's aging very well so they are going to replace it with a much more with a very modern two core nuclear reactor to keep things running. And it's actually a, a actually a much cleaner way, much more efficient. I don't know what the fuel is going to be, if it's just going to be uranium or maybe thorium. I could not find out those details, which is quite annoying. Mm, so yes, they are going to jump to nuclear power for the town. 
they can provide much more power then which will be nice for if it's cold or if there is a storm or any other issues where you could need much more electricity anyway that is it again for this video thank you guys for watching consider, consider subscribing if you like this video let me know down below in the comments what you think of this whole idea putting a nuclear reactor uh, right in the arctic when barely anybody lives and uh, yes consider subscribing like the video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it and thank you for watching i hope to see you guys next time again